Okay, let's carry on. Now, uh, we just went through a rather large portion of dialogue, and uh, unfortunately, I say unfortunately, but necessary evil, we're going to be going through another massive chunk of dialogue. Scenario 2 kind of hits you like that, uh, really, because um, it, sort, it, sort, it sort of lulls you into a full sense of security with a, with a very rapid uh, battle, and then it hits you with a fucking metric ton of dialogue. But still, it's interesting because it's all in bloody English, isn't it? Woohoo! Yay! So let's enjoy that. Let's enjoy that aspect over there. Man, things are real shaky at the moment. Whoa. Yeah, like cowards. Just what you want in your force. Speak of the devils. So how comes they didn't... If they came from that way, how comes they didn't see uh, Symbius and Co. engaging in a massive bloody battle with, with monks? Still. <laughs> I like the... Uh, I like the the old man down at the bottom there doing the doing the old jive. Two kind of bumbling around. It's kind of cute. And they walk fast. And yes, you can see there a nice little new uh, aspect that they introduced in Scenario 2 or from Scenario 2 onwards. Uh, the little speech, uh, or say the little the little bubbles that appear over their heads, no longer are just uh, exclamation marks, but there are a variety of uh, variety of emotions, question marks, and confusion and anger just adds a little bit of flavor <laughs> see angry Angry emotion. Someone? It's that dude. Do you remember him? <gasps> it's Fial.
shady meetings. What? A sliding door in a castle? Oh, a bit of a, a bit of a design faux pas there. Does not go well with the decor. Hmm. <laughs> it's a nice cute little dynamic. That's the spirit. <laughs> Seems that synthesis is the uh, is the dominant personality in that little relationship. To dialogue chunk number two. I don't want. Oh, we remember him, don't we? Last time we saw you, we kicked your ass. As Symbius. There you go. On. Garzel, a lot of familiar faces in here. Oh look, Owen Wilson is back. Oh sorry, Franz. Yeah, show us some evidence that they attacked you. At this point, it's a real shame that um, that enemies in Shining Force 3 explode after you kill them, leaving no traces. I mean, if you could just take them to the docks and show them the bodies of, like, five masked monks covered in gunpowder, just be like, uh, hello, there's your damn evidence. Ah, sorry, I was getting ahead of myself there, I was getting ahead of myself. So apparently there would have been evidence, but it's all been blown up. Because they blew up the docks as well. Hush my tongue, sorry, I was too busy talking to be actually reading what they were saying. My bad. Mm, crew, it's back. But at this point we already know he's up to, up to some funny business with Fial, who we know is the guy who impersonated Benetton and took the Marik. Spiriel, mm, 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 beautiful lady. But very scary. Bring him in! He's got an awesome beard! Ooh. Find out what happens next time.